Today we'll look at the sound ow, which can be spelt in different ways. For example, cow, that's C-O-W. How, now, our, that's O-U-R, and out, O-U-T. Let's look at these two sentences. Stop that row now. I can row a boat. And look at the word row or row. R O W, the word spelled the same but different sounds. Now let's read these sentences. Our cow makes a row. How do you feel now? Where is your cow now? You can row our boat. Cows make milk. Now show me how. Let's find the correct order for these words. A, he, has, house, new. What do you think we should start with? Hmm. Let's start with he. Remember why? That's right. The word he begins with a big H. The next word, let's try has. He has a new house. And why did we end with house again? Because that's where the full stop is. Very good. A row. Loud. What? That's a hard one. There's no full stop, but there's another sign. So we should end with that word as well. And we know what word we're going to start with. Let's start with the word what. What a loud row. Very good. Now this sentence, there's no full stop again, but there's another sign now, one we've not seen before. This one is called a question mark. So let's put that word last. And we know we start with so, that's where the big S is. So let's begin. So, where is he now? That means you're asking a question. So where is he now? With a question mark instead of a full stop. He, cow, has, brown, a. Okay, now we have a full stop after the word cow. So that's our last word. And we start with he. He has a brown cow. Well, that's more or less it for today. Let's end with our funny rhyme. Here comes Michael. The plumber. I've worked as a plumber all my life and still I don't know which are worse, pipes that leak or pipes that burst. Let's listen to that again, shall we? The plumber. I've worked as a plumber all my life and still I don't know which are worse, pipes that leak or pipes that burst.